Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Byron Williams, Anointed Hands Family Barber, and this is a quick tutorial of a temp fade, one and a half with the grain, ball temple fade. I always start my services out with a shampoo, but I skipped that in this video. We'll do another video on a, a shampoo service, but as you see, I'm gonna comb the hair the way of the grain, laying it down. Also, while I'm checking for any dips in the head, any changes of direction in the hair. In this portion of the haircut, I will be using my Andy's Ultra ZRs with my one and a half detachable blade. As you see, I will be going with the grain, just like when I was combing the hair out to make the hair lay down nice and flat, removing all the excess hair so you can begin the fade. Now for this step, I will be using my wall detailers to clean away all the hair from the bottom of the neck. And I will go ahead and start my guidelines for my edge up line on the sides down the nape of the neck. At that point, I'll switch to my wall magic clips where I will use my half guard and my one guard to fade against the grain and across the grain to create a smooth taper. Now I'll get ready 
to tackle two objectives at once. I'll clean up the beard area because I know that this client wants just a goatee and mustache with the ball temple fade. So now that I clean up this area and get a nice clean palette before I start my same fading process as before. Using my detailers, they're set very close so that I can get down very smooth to all the stubble on the face. After switching over from the detailers, I will go back to my magic clips where I will use my half guard and my one guard to complete the fade on the left side and the right side of the head. finalize this fade. We want to take away any heavy marks and any blemishes. I'm using my wall magic clips with my half guard and you see I will go with the grain and against the grain to smooth out any dark areas. Now this is the most important part of the haircut that I would say, besides the cleanup work. It's the edge up. I'm using my wall detailers, which are very close. As you see, I'm holding my clippers, or shall I say my trimmers, at a 45 degree angle. And I'm using a motion that I call stab, drag, and pull. Stab the edge up, drag, and pull the clippers down to remove all unnecessary hair that's unwanted. As you see, I am shadowing across the light spots so that I can add my enhancements and fill them in later. Now let's finalize this haircut. As you see, we will use the wall magic clips with the open blade, no guard, to fade out any high and dark spots. I skip the enhancements. As I say, we will add another video where I will show you how to apply enhancements to cover any light areas.
And here we have a couple of pictures of the finished product. I would like to thank you guys for watching my video. Please hit like, share, and subscribe. Now I want to show you a list of all the products that I used to complete this haircut. The Motions Light Hole Hair Spritz, the Wall Magic Clips. I also used the air compressor with the Kiss Hairspray and the Andis Ultra ZRs and the Wall Detailers. Thank you very much again.